heroic guide dog Roselle, a true 9-11 story that will inspire you. Imagine this, it's a typical Tuesday morning. You're at work and minding your own business and then chaos, complete, unfiltered chaos. But wait, this isn't just any workplace. You're 78 floors up in one of the tallest buildings in the world, the World Trade Center. And things are about to get very real, very fast. Oh, and you can't see a thing. And not because of the smoke, but because you're blind. What do you do? Michael Hinkson. What do you do? If your name is Michael Hinkson, you take a deep breath, trust in the furry friend by your side, and walk straight into history. This is the story of Roselle, the guide dog who didn't just save her owner that day. She became an international symbol of courage, loyalty, and the unbreakable bond between humans and their dogs. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's rewind the tape a bit to understand how a dog named after a flower can become a hero on one of the darkest days in American history. Roselle. Picture it. A beautiful yellow Labrador retriever. The kind that makes you instantly regret every bad thing you've ever said about early morning walks and the price of premium dog food. Roselle was that kind of dog. Well-trained, loyal, and with a nose for danger, although her primary job was more about sniffing out curbs and crosswalks than catastrophe. Roselle was born to be a guide dog, and by the time she met Michael Higson, she was a pro. But on September 11, 2001, she was put to the ultimate test, a test that no amount of training could ever fully prepare a dog or a human for. The North Tower on the first plane. At 8.46 a.m., the first plane struck the North Tower, just 18 floors above where Michael and Roselle were working. Now, you might think that being blind would be a disadvantage in a situation like this, but here's where things get interesting. Michael's other senses, particularly his hearing, were heightened, and he could tell right away that something was seriously wrong. In his own words, while debris fell around us and people were panicking, Roselle remained focused, calm, and steady. She guided me through the darkness, and I knew she wouldn't let me down. Roselle's behavior helped me stay calm, too. I trusted her with my life. Imagine hearing the chaos unfold around you, padding voices, the distant roar of flames, the gut-wrenching screech of twisting metal, and not being able to see a thing. But Michael wasn't alone. Roselle was right there with him, calm, focused, and ready to do her job. What happened next is the stuff of legend. As the building shook and smoke began to fill the air, Michael and Roselle began their descent down 1,463 steps. That's a lot of steps on a good day. In a building fire, it's a nightmare. But Roselle didn't waver. Step by step, she guided Michael and others, all while staying perfectly composed. Michael later reflected, Roselle and I worked together as a team. I gave her commands and she executed them perfectly. She saved my life that day. But she did so by doing what she was trained to do, guide and protect me. Roselle's heroic actions remind us of the incredible loyalty and courage that dogs can demonstrate. Follow the leader. Now, here's where the story gets even more incredible. Roselle not only led Michael to safety, but she also helped keep those around her calm. A survivor who witnessed Roselle in action described the scene. In the midst of all the chaos, there was this dog, Roselle, guiding her owner down the stairs as if it was just another day. It was incredible to witness. She was calm and it helped the rest of us stay calm, too. We followed her lead. Roselle's presence was a reminder that in the midst of terror, there was still something good, 
something reliable, something you could trust. When they finally made it out of the building and away from danger, Roselle didn't stop. She continued to lead Michael through the streets, guiding him to safety, even as the world around them seemed to be falling apart. Michael later said, As we descended the stairs, I was struck by how calm Roselle was. She didn't panic or hesitate. She just kept moving forward step by step, leading me and others to safety. I knew that as long as we stuck together, we would make it out. Roselle's story is one of incredible bravery, but it is also a testament to the unbreakable bond between humans and dogs. She wasn't just a guide dog. She was a friend, a protector, and, on that fateful day, a hero. So the next time you're tempted to grumble about walking your dog in the rain, just remember Roselle, a dog who walked through fire and came out on the other side, and not just with her tail intact, but with a legacy that will be remembered for generations to come. And Michael Hinkson? Well, he's made it his mission to share Roselle's story with the world, because sometimes the heroes we need the most aren't the ones in capes. They're the ones on four legs, with a leash in their mouth ready to guide us through the darkness. Roselle might be gone now, but her story lives on, reminding us all that true courage comes in many forms, and sometimes the bravest hearts have fur and four paws. Somewhere in this heroic story, there is an ounce or two of wisdom, a nugget or two we can find to apply to ourselves. For now, let's focus on just this one. Roselle was trained in the hopes that she could help one person. There were no guarantees she'd even succeed in her training and be able to help anyone. She might have been proven unsuited to such a responsibility, but still, the effort was made. Roselle excelled and was given the task of watching out for one human. I'm sure those involved in training and teaching were proud and excited that their work with a wonderful dog paid off. They had no way of knowing that Roselle would become a hero that saved more than one life and set an example of courage under fire. So, here's the ounce. When something good is placed into the world, no one can predict just how much good can come from it. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this fun little episode about a hero dog on 9-11. And if you did, give us a like, subscribe, share with your friends, all of that stuff. Because that's how you can help us, and we need your help. By convincing the interweb that we're worth watching. Thanks. <laughs>